This coding activity is called Code Monkey Jr. Code Monkey Jr. is a pre-coding game for ages four to six years old. Code Monkey Jr. teaches computational thinking skills and the basics of coding through the use of blocks. In the game, students will program a monkey's journey in order to catch bananas and unlock a treasure chest. Although this is not a coding language, block coding helps students learn computational thinking and basic coding concepts such as sequencing and loops. The goal of every level is to program a block sequence that will take the monkey to the treasure chest and collect all the bananas. Encourage students to go back and try to get all three stars in all 30 challenges. Ask them to help classmates who are having trouble or start a new activity. Upon completion of a level, students get anywhere between one to three stars. One star, the monkey got to the treasure chest but did not collect all the bananas. Two stars, the monkey got the treasure chest with all the bananas but did not use the shortest code possible. Three stars, the monkey got to the treasure chest, collected all the bananas, and used the shortest code possible. Next, we are going to go over a few helpful Code Monkey Junior tips to answer any questions that may arise from you or your students, as well as give you a quick glimpse of the progression of this coding activity. As students are playing, a message may pop up asking them to sign up. Students just have to simply click the X in the top right hand corner of the box to continue playing. If a student makes a mistake when they are sequencing the blocks, they just need to simply click the pink circular arrow to try again. Students can click the blocks they placed in the sequence on their last try to reset the commands. If students mess up more than one time, it will prompt with a blue light bulb to give them hints to get started. Students click the blue light bulb and the sequence starts out for them. They just have to finish it. The game begins with teaching students sequencing and the sequences get progressively more difficult as students progress through each level. The purple map in the top left hand corner of the screen shows students where they are on their journey. Students can click and drag to see how many different levels they have completed and how much further they need to go. Once students complete all 15 sequencing activities, they will begin to learn about loops. A loop is a sequence of instructions that are repeated until a certain condition is reached. As students are introduced to loops, You'll notice that the game has a hand prompting students to use the looping function to begin their commands. Then shows students to click and drag different commands into the box to show them what to do next. If there are two functions in a loop, students will simply add the loop button, then the two functions, and then click and drag those functions inside of the loop and then click play to see if that progression works. If a student makes a mistake during a loop activity, the monkey will continue to make the same mistake without the program stopping it itself. Students will have to click the pink button to restart the activity and click the functions back where they started to start over. Some levels are taller than the screen. Students can click and drag the screen to see the top of that level. Once the game is completed, students can click the home button to see all of the different levels they have completed. They can go back to replay a game, or they can choose a new game to play once they're done with Code Monkey Jr.